Hey guys, what's up? It's Alien Pajamas, and... It's... it's me. Alright. And we're playing Pocket Mirror. Again. And we're gonna go. Hopefully it's not as long as the last time. Yeah. <coughs> well, cool. What was that? Yeah, what was that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, let's hurry. Hello. This is all wrong. What is it, Fleta? This garden. Oh, my garden. This wasn't how it, looked, how it looked like before. There used to be a path straight ahead, but now it's gone. Oh. That's fine, Fleta. I'm sure everything will be alright. Yeah. Shut up. Don't tell me what to do. Let's go. I'm gonna go home soon. Don't you two little girls want to hear jokes? So you place a pumpkin? <laughs> 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 Listen here, you, you dumb tree, or whatever you are. I don't have time for your stupid joke. Show me the way home this instant, or else. Such a loud missy you are. Didn't your mommy teach you any manners? What did you just say? Who do you think you're talking to? Shoo, shoo, go away. You're pestering me. Come back after you learn some respect. <laughs> Calm down, Fleta. Let me try talking to him, alright? Hmm. <laughs> Fine, go ahead and try it. It's not like he's going to tell you anything anyways. Hello oh, oh, there. <laughs> Hello there, mister. You see... We're somewhat lost right now. I'm wondering if you could show us the way. Why, of course. It would be my pleasure, miss. What? He did. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, mister. <laughs> now, there's a trick to getting out of mazes. Have you ever heard about it? I can't believe this. Can you believe this, omelet? Silence. Ah, I know about that one trick where you tie a thread to something at the maze and hold it as you're walking so you won't get lost. You were right, miss. However, there's one that's even more effective. Put your hand on the right side of the wall and just keep going that way. Blah, 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 look at me. I know how to talk to trees. It's impressive that you know all the methods to get out of a maze. Too bad you're a tree. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he did. <laughs> yes, do you want to hear it? Just say it already, you ugly tree trunk. I want to go home. <laughs> Carrying on. <laughs> it's truly an easy method, miss. All you need to do is place your... Aha! <laughs> you will never get lost. I can guarantee you that. That's amazing. I never knew about that trick. Thank you so much for your help. Uh, th thank you so much for your help. I don't even know he's not lying, he's a tree. There's no way he can know how to talk walk out of a maze. He has never even walked. Man. You're <laughs> welcome, miss. Now be careful and take care, especially with that noisy girl you have there with you. What did you just call me, you old piece of wood? <laughs> Thank you, mister. Hold well, on, let's go. Please don't be mean to Mr. Tree. He's even helped us get out of a maze. Hmm, <laughs> fine, then you lead the way. We'll see if you can get out of this stupid maze. Alright, so let's see. Which side should we face? I mean the tree is there, so you should <coughs> Have your right hand on the tree. Good idea. <clears throat> when I grow up, I want to be one of those scary pumpkins. The ones that have spooky, shiny eyes. See, are you going to really become one in the future? <laughs> You'll probably end up becoming one of Omelette's pumpkin pies. No need to tell me what to say. Let's go. I don't have time to waste on pumpkins. I'm sorry, Mr. Pumpkin. He don't see me. Why are you in here? This is not here before? No. We'll never get home like this. Flutter. Don't worry, Flutter. It'll be alright. We'll definitely get out of here, okay? How can you be so sure? We're lost in this maze of maze, you know? I'm not sure, but we need to stay positive, right? And I'm really looking forward to playing games with you. But let's try getting home as soon as possible, right? Alright. Do you want to re take a rest? We can sit on that bench over there. Um. Flutter. Hmm? Do you really live here all by yourself? No, I live together with Omelette. Aren't you lonely sometimes? Not at all. Omelette's always there for me, no matter what. I see, I'm glad. Why did you ask that? Do you want me to be my friend, too? Me? No, I mean... Well, I didn't ask because I want to be your friend. I don't want to impose. You dummy. You're already mine and Omelette's friend. Right, Omelette? Silence. See? <laughs> <laughs> She's just ready to kill you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thank you, Fleta. Don't forget to thank Omelette as well. Oh, thank you, Omelette. Shut up. <laughs> well, let's go. Can't stay here all day. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Now then. Well, I'll talk to this pumpkin first. I'm telling you, there's no candy inside of me. Why are you doubting me? Listen to me. 
Every pumpkin needs candy to survive. I have candy inside me, and every pumpkin I know has candy inside of them as well. Meaning you can have, you may have to have candy inside you too. No, I don't. What is all this about, pumpkin? Your Highness, you have come at just the right time. My friend here doesn't believe me when I say every pumpkin has candy inside them. No, you don't. I don't have any candy inside me whatsoever. I haven't heard anything about candy inside pumpkins before. <laughs> ha! I knew it. No, I swear I'm not lying. Please calm down, you two. Well, there's only one way to find out who's right. I need to open up and see for ourselves. Open me up? Wait, thought it wouldn't that hurt him? What does that matter? It's much for a bigger, it's for a much bigger purpose. Hey, <laughs> don't open me up! Then what? Isn't there any other way to check? You can try and reach for the candy through his mouth. Oh. Alright, let's try that. Let's you do it. What? Why me? Because I said so. Alright. I say, ah! Uh, ah! Uh. Uh, so, what was inside? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> What the heck was that? Um... Uh-huh. <laughs> you're a liar! No, I'm not! Yes, you are. You're a big, fat liar. Hey, don't make fun of my weight. Let's just step away from them. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, another pumpkin. Mr. Pumpkin, can we ask you a question? Yes, most certainly you can. Do you have any chance to know what happened to the garden? Oh my, you have no idea how terrifying the whole ordeal was. I have never gone through such an unsettling event in my, all my five months of existence. What happened? You see, I was just resting here, as always, and suddenly everything went dark. This garden was already like this when I got to my senses. So you don't really know how it got like this. Not really, no. Okay. Well, this is the right, right hand on the wall. <clears throat> is there, like, an option to, like, change who leads? I don't think so. Can you talk to the tree? A tree. This tree? <clears throat> this is a talkable tree? Oh, That's not a talkable okay. tree. <laughs> no. no. It doesn't have a face. If you talk to one tree, you no, might be able to talk to every single but, other tree. But then that tree has a face on it. Okay, let's just go this way. It's not like a death trap if you go the wrong way, right? I don't know. I don't want to risk it. Do you want to risk it? I mean, there was no... Si <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> okay, at least you don't die. <laughs> <laughs> we're in a different place now, are you? We're pretty sure we're in the same place now here. Okay, uh, well, we won't try that again. Unless you want to take the other route that was up there. I mean, it's your choice. Alright. <clears throat> it's a maze, so... We're running there. Basically, just do whatever, I think. Just get lost. Leave her behind! <laughs> Can you go to the idol? <gasps> You're close! You're so close! Oh, so very close! Close to what, Mr. Pumpkin? I'm so very close to the edge! I believe it's time to make a pledge. I, Princess Fleta, ruler of all, swear I will be friends with you for all eternity. Now, now, miss, it is your turn. Either give Princess Fleta your word or expect to burn. I, I swear to be, I will be friends with Fleta for all eternity. The pledge has been made. A, prince, a precious promise that shall never fade. Oh, that's startled. With this, we can be friends forever. Yes! If you ever betray me, you know what will happen, doesn't she? Omelet. Death. <laughs> well then, so let's go. <laughs> Omelet doesn't want to be friends. <laughs> um. Okay. I'm just gonna keep going anywhere. I'm following my instincts. Wrong. Nope. It's wrong. <laughs> okay. Well. In that case... You're going in the right direction, though. Oh, really? I mean, like, up to the pumpkin. Oh. Oh, In that case... Uh, to towards the tree! Utterly useless. No. Come back. Wait. Where'd you go? Did I fail? Did I mess up? This better not be a bad ending.
I didn't even betray her. I just was dumb. Where is she? I don't know. Maybe she left. What if she just end up, ends up as a corpse somewhere over there? That's not... Um... <laughs> <laughs> okay, how do I even get here? This way! Are you punching the tree? Stupid tree! Take this! And this! You despicable liar! Calm down! Why are you hitting him? He lied to us. No, he didn't, Foda. Calm down, alright? Why did we get lost? It's my fault. Hmm. Why didn't you say so? I'm sorry. Don't just get lost again. Yes. I know how to get there now. Because I saw it with my own eyes. Wait, did you go that route? <laughs> did you go that route before? No. I went to the right, and then that's how I got lost. Oh, okay. That doesn't like give you a bad idea. Just a few more steps to the left, and you should be out. Finally! I'm so relieved. Not that you did anything to help us get there. But I. I mean. Hey. Whatever, man. I mean, were you able to get to the end, like, exit without, with just going, like, touching the right side? Because I don't think you can. No. <coughs> this is it. We made it. There's more trees. <laughs> I'm so glad. Let's go inside. I have so much I want to show you. Yes, let's. But I want to talk about this pumpkin first. Your Highness, I finally, I'm glad you're lying back. Something happened, pumpkin? Oh, no, not at all. I'm just happy to see you. You're making me blush. May I ask you, who is that next to you? Oh, her? She's just a friend. Hello, friend. You're also quite a beautiful girl. Ah, oh, thank you, Pumpkin. No small talk. Let's go. Oh, all right. Goodbye, Pumpkin. It was nice meeting you. We soon again, miss. So who's over here? No one. I can't talk to these pumpkins. Or trees. They're pumpkins now. Unless... As you can see, Princess, we have taken good care of your dollhouse while you were away. Good job, trees. Just as expected. As you can see, okay. There's a pumpkin right here. Princess, princess, who's this girl next to you? She's my friend. Can I be friends with her too? I never had any friends. There's no way I'm going to share my friends with any of the likes of you. I know you. Know your place, pumpkin. But princess, it's just a pumpkin. No means no. You're my special friend and no one else's. You're mine. Okay. Well, guess we're going outside. Tell me now, Princess Fleta, how would you like to sing? Ding dong. Mm. Dong, ding, ding, dong. Tell me now, my friend, if you'd like to hear a song. Tell me now, then, what's the rule of spring? Dong, ding, ding, dong. Oh, miss. Oh, please, miss, you're, don't you dare get it wrong. Dong, ding, ding, dong. Don't you worry, my friend. I would never forget our theme song. Ding, dong, dong, ding. Our most precious ruler is not all pretty girls need a king. Welcome home, Princess Florida. Please do come inside. Thank you, Dor. <laughs> <coughs> what? <laughs> I didn't understand the rhythm of the song, so I was. Just... So there's a sick book there. Oh, we are finally here. <laughs> Welcome to my dollhouse, miss. This is really your home? Everything is so pretty. Isn't it? Every really special pumpkin can come in and do all the decorations in the house. I see. Let me show you all around. Alright. Okay, let's save. Yes, on the stairs. Yeah. Whoa, how'd you get into that safe point? <laughs> Going up to your room, Princess? Why, yes, I am, Pumpkin. Alright, be careful not to eat too many sweets or you'll look at your tummy ache. Is that so, Pumpkin? Come on, let's go. Okay, but like, let me talk to all these pumpkins first. Like, I love talking to pumpkins. Be sure to make the most of the rare, purposeful moments in life, little girl. For it all is but one frightening storm. Our own livings here are shortened by father time, and occasionally even by the whims of others. So be careful, my dear. There will be times when you will need to consult with your little weakened heart. Or to break through the shadows, you need to- Oh my god, shut up already! <laughs> I told you not to bother my guests with your boring lectures. Oh, but it's fine, I don't mind. 
I do mind. I order you never ever say those things kind of silly things ever again. Are we clear, Pumpkin? Yes, Your Highness. Oh, Professor Pumpkin. <laughs> Go home, Princess. Who's that you have with you, Princess? Oh, she's a very special friend. Hello. Hello, Miss. Welcome to our home. Thank you, Pumpkins. Nice and sweet. I was just trying to be nice. Princess, Princess, I have a big favor to ask of you. We do. What is it, Pumpkin? See, Princess, my tooth fell out this morning. And I really want to get a coin from the Tooth Fairy. So would you please put my tooth under my leaves? Oh no, Pumpkin, there's no way I'm going to touch your tooth. Friends, I just want to touch the Tooth Fairy to pay me a visit. Quit it, Pumpkin. I'm not touching your filthy tooth. It's just a tooth. Besides, Mr. Pumpkin, you are nice nasty and everything. Why don't you do it then? Gladly. No worry, Mr. Pumpkin. I'll do it for you. You will? Really? Yes. Look at me. I'm so polite and kind. It's still inside my mouth. Just reach for it. All right, then. Say, ah. Uh, Ah! Uh, kind of bites right, I'm gonna die. <laughs> God, that would be the worst. <laughs> Look at me, I'm so much better than Fleta. I got it! we just put it under your leaves. It's all done. Thank you, thank you, thank you, miss. Welcome, Pumpkin. I hope you can meet the Tooth Fairy tonight. Thank you so much. Are you two done yet? Yes. Don't waste my time, I'm gonna go play. Look at this wall facing Pumpkin. I love sunbathing. The warm sunlight makes me feel at home. You get out of the way. Looks like that's it. All right. There you go up. <clears throat> Interesting. This is my trump room. <laughs> it's made especially for my favorite card games. You want to play with me? I. Yeah. So no. Um. Basically, uh, this is like where you get an ending split. <sighs> So basically, no. You have to for the good ending. You need to, you need to win every single game with oh her. Oh boy! Oh boy! All right, <clears throat> let's come down and play. Let's start. I go first. Oh my God! What is this? Uh oh, is there an explanation of the game? So. so far, no. Let us turn. Oh, this is like matching. card matching. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. So it's a rabbit and a fox. So this is a rabbit, right? Yeah, that was a rabbit. Oh, there was a fox. Yeah. Pumpkin. My chances are so bad right now. Got it. <laughs> yep, no, I think you won. Awesome. I won! Why? Isn't that great for you? You weren't even that good, I was just distracted. I just let you win because I feel a little feeling sorry for you. Isn't that right, Omelette? I'm better at card games than Missy Smarty Pants here, aren't I? She's gonna die. I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> Why? What are you looking at me like that for? Come on, let's do something else. Follow me. Apparently those cards are just placed like the same Wait, way no every what? single time. That was a pretty good match, I was looking for you both. Hey, do you want to see my poker face? Sure, let's see it. Ready? Here I go. So, did you like it? Yes, that's a very nice suspicion you have there. <laughs> oh god, what is this now? This is where I usually drink my tea with omelette. That sounds wonderful. Isn't it a nice day today, Mr. Pumpkin? Yes, it is, Mr. Pumpkin. Hey, miss, can I ask you a question? What is it, Mr. Pumpkin? I heard you're going to lose Flutter in every game you play. Is it true? I'm flattered. I mean, I already won. <laughs> <laughs> A couple of real sweets are laid out on the table. Are you hungry? Let's take a sit and drink some tea. Just don't eat any of my favorites. Actually, try not to eat anything at all. Just drink a tea or something. Chubby girls always get married last. Isn't that right? I'm not going to say anything about that one. <laughs> Come on, let's sit. Can I ask you a question? Of course, what is it? Why are you always so mean to me? Have I done to anything to upset you? No, not really. Why do you ask? I don't know. You're always in a bad mood. Just so, so I just thought. You're not very good at thinking, are you? Look, Omelette, I made her upset. Good. She totally does. Indeed, she does. 
But what do you want? Can you see I'm busy talking to Omelette? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Didn't you mean to? Didn't mean to upset you. Well, but you did. Did she, Omelette? Indeed. <laughs> so sorry, Flutter. I don't know what I did, but I never meant to upset you. Hmm. Then how about you prove to me? How? Show me the thing you always carry around with you. Pocket mirror? Uh-huh. Show it to me and I'll forgive you. Okay. Yes! Be really careful. It's really important oh, no. to me. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not a toy. It's not. I'm actually made of gold. Don't know what it's made of. And what? How can you not know what it's made of? I don't know, Flutter. <laughs> Why do you carry around everywhere? I'm not sure. It's a really important thing to me. I feel like I have to look like you close to me. Maybe like, a bit like you and Omelette. You're always together, right? Compare my Omelette to a toy. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Who are you? Are you listening to me? Don't you look at me like that. Are you stupid? Don't you dare compare your Omelette to your stupid pocket mirror. You understand? Or I'll have to hit you and make you understand. Hit her. <laughs> but Omelette, she was being mean. Hit her! You know I'd never do that. Now shut up or you won't get, you get any dinner. Fine. Because <laughs> I feel sorry for anything. Alright, Flutter, I'm terribly sorry for what you just said. That's good. Please, don't think badly of me. I'm just a little girl. Yes, you are. I just want to be your friend, so please accept my apologies. There's enough omelet. Good. <laughs> I'm sorry, too, Flutter. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I, I accept your apologies. Can we be friends again? Fine. You still want to play with me? Hmm, alright. Let's go. There's still a bunch of things I want to show you. I can't wait. I, that was weird. I hope that didn't change anything. No, that didn't change anything. Good. I'm gonna go save down there. At least I think it didn't change anything. File 11, file 10, file 10. File 10. We're almost done. Go down to 1 again. <clears throat> Nothing here, right? This is actually my most precious special room. Really? Uh-huh. It's my magic room. Turn anything you desire. You all you have to do is ask. I see. That's amazing. Let me show you. What color do you like best? I really like red. I like yellow. I like red. I don't really like red. Never mind that. Just choose between pink and blue. Which do you like best? You don't even give me a choice. I like blue. Hmm. I like pink better, so we're gonna go with pink. Oh, okay. Now watch and learn! Bibbidi bobbidi boo! Good day! What would you like to see today, princess? I would like to see a pink room. Very well. You may step aside. Let's go. All right. These are my three special mirrors. Special? Uh huh. They're the little mirrors of prayer, and there's the mirror of truth, and the mirror of judgment. What do they do? Just come with me. I'll show you. This I wonder if these are the mirrors that were in that one room. Right. The fox and stuff. This is the mirror of judgment. It judges whoever stands in front of it. it sounds scary. It's not scary. It's fun. Watch. I'll do it first since you're such a scared cat. Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall. I command you to tell me who's the fairest of them all. Certainly not you, princess. <laughs> <laughs> I told me I was just yesterday. Are you trying to pick a fight with me? Well, see about that. Come on, it's your turn to be judged. No, no, I'm fine, Flutter. It's an order. I won't get judged by the mirror right this instant. Mirror, I would like to ask you who's the fairest of them all. There's only one who can hold that title missing. That person is you. She's gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Omelette. Me, but I... That's enough. She, where'd she punch? The wall. <laughs> Got what top corner over there. <laughs> right, <can't> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got what it deserved. <laughs> Let's just go on to the next one. All so right. is this the mirror for like the detective? Oh, judgment. Maybe. It's an answer all your questions with nothing but the truth. I see. I go first. Oh, mirror on the wall. Tell me who's the pinkest of them all. That is you, princess. <laughs> I knew it. Could have been you. It only could have been you, right? Now go. It's your turn. Okay. I don't know. It's your turn, not mine. Hmm. What is my name? I can remember my own name. Oh, man. Oh, wait. I'm not sure if this is... Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter where you choose. Yeah? Okay. Well, we know her name. Because we made it up. I know, right? <laughs> <coughs> but this is the one that's, like, is the outcast of the entire thing. Why won't Amla talk to me? Why won't Amla talk to me anymore? Not that the Queen Omelette won't talk to me, so you simply can't hear her. See, I told you! This is the mirror, right, Omelette? <laughs> She's just ready to kill. <laughs> See? <laughs> Let's go to the next mirror, come on. This is the mirror of prayer. So the mirror of truth was the one with, like, the fox. And the, uh, rabbit. 
Oh, it was just a fox well, to kill everyone. Yeah, the killer. Tell I, the truth. Any wish? No, I'll just watch. Oh, mirror, mirror on the wall. Please make my mouth taste like candy forever. That sounds gross. <laughs> it worked! I can always taste my favorite candy. Can I really ask for anything? Of course, my mirror's eating anything. And I want a pocket mirror. Huh? Why would you want something like that for? You already have one. Your desire is my command. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Thank you, mirror. <clears throat> I don't get it. Why do you wish for another pocket mirror? I got it for you, Flutter. Here, you can take it. You look like you really wanted one, so I got you this. Why would I want something stupid like that? I just got rid of it or something. Will you? I don't want to listen to you at home. Let's go. Follow me. Oh, what's the last thing again? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. The mirror of... Something. <laughs> mirror of Desire? Took you long enough. Don't you ever make me wait like this again. Sorry. <clears throat> I'm not going there again, though. Wait, so what mirror does that correspond to? What was the first mirror that we went to? I forgot. It was just like dead. Yeah, everyone, everyone's everyone dancing was dead. and then they all died. I'm not I guess the mirrors are like that. Uh, or maybe it was like, oh, it's like, I want them to die, so they all die. Oh. That's where I keep all my favorite tales. There's not a single boring book in this whole room. That's impressive, Fleta. I don't feel like reading right now. <laughs> I'll give you ten minutes to check some books if you want to. Thank you. Complete biography of Queen Omelette. Interesting. There was once a little missy who was known for being quite prissy. All her faithful butlers enjoyed serving her tea, obediently answering her every plea. Really some powerful. The girl's last breaths were everything but colorful. Got what she deserved. And Ben and Aconite was her last dessert. But still, with such cruel demise, is the missing. I know gods. I is now gods who stripped me up in disguise. They have disposed of their queen who had taken their voice. Overwhelmed with freedom, did her servants rejoice. Such a great fellow would like to see my story. Hey, Flutter, what's up? How to be a princess? Flutter. A princess Flutter. One of these books. I can't read these books. Okay. They're so high up. Frilly, press, frilly dresses and pre contesses by Sir Pumpkin the Third. Okay, I'll... Wait. How to Dance the Waltz by Mr. Rabbit. He died. Oh no, he didn't die. He killed everyone. A <laughs> boy's. Well, I mean, it depends which one. <laughs> My Boy's Midnight Journey by Henry H de Helig. Rid. A certain boy was known to have a problematic condition, one that would only affect him during the night, one that even the best doctors could not explain. Thought to be the work of the devil by many, it is said that the boy would wake up during the night and speak to the ones that had perished. Despite the various attempts to cure him of his curse, the boy kept on being disturbed by strange voices during the night. Everything in this page on this is scratched out. No one around him will ever know about the secret of his. Such a privilege belongs only to me, my dear. This is the only thing written on the back. Interesting. Well, because we're done. I wish I had all the time to read all these books, but unfortunately, I'm a very busy person. Isn't that right, Omelette? Bokka, though. <laughs> Are you finished yet? Uh, we're done, right? Yeah, that was the, the very right book was the only important book there. Okay, let's go upstairs. Where'd everyone go? Oh. <laughs> Should I go down to the save point? Nah, I don't need to save point. Unless I did. Hmm? I'm kind of scared now. Is there another? Is right there... is a mini game. Oh, okay. But there's no save point here. I want to go down to the save point. I want to go to the save point. I like save points. I'm going to be a save scum. So many staircases here. I know, right? This is it. Nonetheless. <laughs> this is my favorite room in the whole house. I come here every night just to look at the stars and talk with Omelette. This room is beautiful, Fleta. Isn't it? Come on, let's sit down and look at the stars. <laughs> yes! The sofa is so comfortable, I could fall asleep here. I slept here all the time. Sometimes I forget to bring a blanket when I take a nap so Omelette gets one for me. Omelette really does like you. Of course, and I love her just as much as she loves me. Don't you, Omelette? I only love you. See? I wish I had a friend like her. Oh, but you do. You have me and Omelette. Isn't that enough for you? Oh, no, that's not what I meant. Sometimes I just feel lonely. I feel like I've been alone for a long time. I don't know why. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bother you, Flutter. Hmm. Well, I can assure you, you're not alone. You've never been alone, and you'll never have to be. 
Yamlin and I have always been here for you and always will be, right? You're right. Thank you, Fleta. I mean, don't, don't forget to thank Omelette, too. Thank you, Omelette. Good. She's killed me multiple times. <laughs> Actually, I have always wanted to ask you something. You have? What is it? In which floor is my dollhouse would you like to live? Like, what do you mean? Well, since you're going to live here with me from now on, all you need to know is what you're going to be saying, right? Well, now you're going to turn into a doll. <laughs> Maybe we could make a whole new floor just for you. What do you think, miss? I don't know if I want to stay here. Well, then, do you want to live on the second floor? That would be fine, too. I mean, I can't stay in your dollhouse with you. I'm going to die. I have to go. Go away. I, I don't know exactly where, but I know I, I know who I am. Fine, who, who you are. I can't stay with you. What do you mean you can't stay here with us? I'm not going to let you go anywhere. You've already found me. What else do you need? Are you really going to leave me all alone again? What do you mean? Your place is here with me. Do you understand? Do you understand? Whoa. She's yes. a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> We're all vampires. <laughs> now that that's settled, let's decide where you'll be staying. What do you think, Omelette? She's gonna die. <laughs> I don't need you to tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, miss, a shooting star. <laughs> Quick, make a wish. Oh, no. I didn't have time to make all the wish I wanted. What do you do wish for, miss? I... It's a secret. You no, know, because that's how wishes work. Uh. Come on, don't be stingy. Just tell me. <laughs> You're not supposed to tell... Hmm, fine. Don't tell me if you don't want to. I'm getting tired of being here. Let's go play. I, you're not going anywhere, miss. I've told you that before. You're my friend. You only belong to me and no one else is... If you've ever been trying to leave, you know what it will become of you, don't you? Now let's go play. Answer me. Yes. Good. Let's go. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> I wonder what these pumpkins are there are. I don't know. Maybe there's like an extra afterwards. Here we go. Here we are! It's my playground. It's where I keep all my toys. There's so many. Of course. I'm a princess after all. Let's go play. Come on. Half of these came to kill you. <sighs> okay, so where am I supposed to go? Is there a save point in here? No. Okay. Just like talk to all the toys or something, maybe. I don't even know. Bed. A mighty veil covered the window. Allowing the moonlight to seep through. I dropped my phone. There's my microphone. Worn out drums to rest beside the small red snare. So you have to t uh, talk to the lantern on the right. A lantern on the right. This thing? Yeah, apparently. I wonder why it's the lantern. Well, I have to go to the left, though. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you have so many. Uh-huh. Let's play. I don't know the rules. That's all right. I don't know. I'll explain the rules to you. What does that matter? She can just play it anyway. Fine. Here are the rules. I can't hear what all it says. <laughs> oh, fine. I'll have to explain them to you so my since they're so dumb. All you have to do is catch the butterflies. The one that catches the most butterflies win. I see, it sounds fun. I'm gonna go catch the cage from the right. I'm gonna catch you can start. How do I win this? It's catch them. Do I just walk into them? I guess. Oh, it doesn't Wait, turn. What? Oh, I guess basically, I think it's like a time. Eight. Good job, Flay. Is that all you have to say? How many can you catch anyway? You don't even stand a chance. I, I don't know how I can. She doesn't know, you know that, does she? What do you mean? It's your turn now. Okay. I won! And I die. Okay. You're a cheater, that's what you are. When I'm a princess, I shouldn't let something like this bring me down. Oh, just pretending like a one. I wrote the slide, so that's for you, Wes. Sure you did. You want to prove it to me, you're not lying, cheater, and you have to win hide and seek fair and square. But I thought we were friends. This is the side. This is one of these deciding factors. Um. I have no 
yeah, of course. I mean, knowing I her. You, I think you have to. It doesn't matter. I mean, knowing her, she'll probably be like, no, I don't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I think you're just going to play either way. Okay, I'm a guilt tripper. <laughs> we are friends. I just don't like you very much. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, shush, Omelette. That's nothing to do with this. <laughs> Let's play. That's right, me. Yes. I'll go first. You stay here and count to ten while I go hide. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four. So how do you lose hide and seek? I don't know. I think you could go now. But we haven't counted to ten. You never even <laughs> Alright, one, two, skip a few. Nine, ten. Alright, let's go. I can't talk to these pumpkins up there. Dear Diary, do you think my friend Claire that worked in the kitchen disappeared and no one wants to tell me where she is? She's still playing hide and seek since yesterday. That would be terrible. She must be hungry. Too bad I want to invite her for to tomorrow. Dear Diary, I should have a twin sister instead. That way we could play together every day. Today was really sunny, so I tried to play with the mother, but she spends too much time in her room and doesn't talk to me as much as she used to. I wonder if she's sad because father's away. Dear Diary, <laughs> hide and seek. <laughs> How should I live from our town? I never had any girls to play with, and brother spends too much time wearing them on his own. He won't let me read what he writes either. Maybe he would play with me if I were a boy. I hope father brings me down. That very pretty doll he said he would like buy on a strip. I think I'll call her Claire, just like my friend. Today my tutor fell ill during class. We had brother ask, said she was a heart attack. Um, I wonder if he will be, if he will be all right because he wasn't moving um, very much after the doctor came to visit. I'm glad class ended early so I could go play in the garden. But it's raining, it started raining, so I had to stay inside. It was very really boring, so I just go into mother's room because she isn't there anymore. I really like mother. My father bought me this very beautiful doll. Her name is Omelette, and we have seen friends for a long, and we've been friends for a long time now. She likes the same teen, sweets as me. But I'll never let my brother touch her. I'm sure he'll break her on purpose. Omelette doesn't like boys either, because they're brutes. It's so obvious that father's a boy, because he's going to the war again. I don't understand him. Being with Omelette is really fun. I'll never feel alone with him when I'm with her. She's always, she'll always um, tell me I'm um, like very pretty stories too. My father, my favorite story is about that time when Omelette had to choose the best dancers in the kingdom. She said they were very good dancers and very elegant. The fox even had a red dress. Omelette said she would teach me how to dance tomorrow, too. I can't wait. I love Omelette. That happened. Today was a very, really bad day. I hate it because it was raining, and the story Omelette told me was very stupid. It was about some witch that went to the forest to pick up berries. That sounds so boring. I bet that she's like dirt. I think they played the magic, but I don't care because I don't like the story. It was stupid. I hated it. But you do magic. My favorite color is pink. Omelette likes pink very much, too. When my eyes turn pink, I will play dress up with Omelette, and we will only wear pink dresses. Oh, I'll have to cut my hair, too, because it's too long and I like it short. <coughs> Interesting. Whose diary is this? Whose diary do you think it is? <laughs> Bokala. You! Nope. You! Nope. You! Not the mirror. Wouldn't you possibly hide it? Oh. Dear Mr. Pumpkin, have you seen Omelette? Okay, I can't talk to you. Wait a minute. Nope. Hmm. Tea time. Tea time! Wait a minute. No. Okay. I'll do anything to receive Princess Butter's good races. Isn't it a nice day to Mr. Pumpkin? Yeah, yes, it is, Mr. Pumpkin. Alright, come on now. No? Okay, I guess we'll just go upstairs. But first... <laughs> oh, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you are. It took you long enough. Sorry. I wrote your diary. I'll show you how to look for someone. I'll go back to the playground. You stay inside. Um, but you at least try a little harder. You're really bad playing. I'm not that bad. Oh, is that so? I'll give you a head start then, miss. I'll call it 30 so you have more time to hide. Is that alright? Yes. Going out. Do your best, alright? So it doesn't matter where I hide. Um. Oh, I do. I have. I do have time. Yeah, you have time. None of these rooms.
Oh. My. Man, you found it. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, I thought you would fail there. Because if you didn't um, find that entrance, you get a game over. And apparently it's like a... I kind of wanted to see it, but it's like if you fail, you just get a darkly humorous game, a humorous game over. Really? I mean, yeah. I did save before this. You want to like, see it after? Yeah, I mean, it's a good time. It's six I know. I'm writing this letter from my best bed in order to cleanse myself of my own demons. I don't have much time left, nor do I have the right to bind you my rules any longer. Unfortunately, my sins have now become your burden. Mother will not be able to accompany her little girl on a painful journey, but please, do not doubt these feelings I harbor for you, my precious children. These are the this is the letter with lies? This letter is completely scratched out. Oh! What are you, what are you doing here? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just found this room I didn't mean to read. I asked what you were doing here! Answer me! Nothing else. She has pink eyes. She's gonna dress up with pink. pink. And <laughs> Richard, I want to stay here with me. To be my friend and live in my home with me. But all you care about are those selfish lies. I hate lies. I hate lies. I hate lies. I'm not... You're coming with me, miss. To the place where all ill-behaved girls belong. You've been a bad friend, miss. Clara, don't leave me here. Don't worry, I'll come visit you once in a while. Is see how you're doing? <laughs> Goodbye, miss. No! Okay. I need to get out of here. Okay, well, I think this is a good place. It's a good place to end. to end, yeah. But there's no save point in here, right? Yeah, we'll just cut to this part Yeah. next time. Please subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Stand here and do nothing. Right. Hide in the same spot she was. Okay. I can't. There's no like choice to hide. I mean, do you have any choices to hide somewhere like Good else question. in the building? Good question. Let's go look around. Well, you check check the first and like first second third floor. Right? I checked these rooms. Yeah. Yeah. So I think you could go to the fourth floor and see. kind of does that automatically. Yeah. Oh, time goes faster or what? I have no clue. Can you stop? <laughs> it's like super dead up okay. here. Okay. I'm running out of time. Oh, man. Hide behind the table. Or table. Hello. Oh, well, oh, you're dead. Read again. <laughs> no, she'll never see you reading, reading it. it. Yeah, okay, let's go. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> 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 she can't find you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now what? Huh? What are you doing here? Why aren't you hiding? Oh no. <laughs> Time to find a place to hide. Don't have time. Are you still going with your ugly lies, miss? I'm not lying. I've had it with you, miss. Since you really can't be friends after all. Omelet. Go, omelet. <laughs> you thunderbolt. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> come with me. I'm taking you where you belong. I didn't mean to upset you. I just do oh, bad. I'm already upset. Now come with me. I'm going to teach you a lesson. <laughs> Flatter. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> oh! I just got pushed down the stairs. Whoops! <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh dear, it seems she fell down the stairs. Ah, indeed she has. Poor thing. Do you think that hurt? Ah, probably not. Oh well. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs>